So typically Andrew, he did it. A teen diagnosed with a rare form of cancer is being remembered, not for what he did in life, but how his legacy is living on in death. Loomis Teen is changing the lives of people he never met with his final wish. Andrew Rundle lost his battle with cancer last week, but his legacy will live on forever. New tonight, Laura Cole is in the CBS 13 newsroom with what he did, Laura, that will help so many other families. Andrew's goal in life was always to help others any way he could, and he did it by giving his make-a-wish to help a charity that he loved very much. I just say give, give back. Because as a teenager, you think it's all about you or whatever. It's, the world revolves right around you, but it's not. This is 19-year-old Andrew Rundle in a Make-A-Wish video sharing his story. In May of 2011, he was diagnosed with a rare form of pediatric bone cancer. He fought until the very end, but he passed away last Friday. He never cried. He never complained. He was amazingly strong. Again, it was a gift. It was a gift of grace and strength. And through his strength, Andrew always found a way to give. He spent much of his time here working with Pastor Pappy at Mosaic Christian Church, helping feed families that couldn't afford the basic necessities. He'd come in and help out anytime I called him. And Andrew always dreamed of helping others across the world. So make a wish granted him that opportunity, giving him a trip to Ecuador so he could help the poor. But he wouldn't make that trip. Andrew was too sick to go. In keeping with the true spirit of giving, he gave his Make-A-Wish trip in the form of cash so the Mosaic Christian Church could buy a refrigerated truck, keeping the food they give to others fresh. He gave me his Make-A-Wish. Uh, it blew me away. It surprised me he was giving it to me. It didn't surprise me that he gave it away, but it surprised me that he gave it to this ministry. It was just so typically Andrew. He did it. He did what was necessary to help others, at no regard for himself. Andrew made giving his life's work, and now, even in death, his legacy lives on. My parents had always ingrained that in us as, as children, but also as a Christian. I think um, my faith has a large role in that, because um, Jesus always teaches to give to others and to um, like sacrifice yourself for the, for the needs of others. And Andrew's celebration of life will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. at Bayside Church in Granite Bay. If you would like to give to some of the charities that were most important to Andrew, you're going to want to log on to our website, cbssacramento.com, and go to the links and numbers page. He touched so many lives in his short life. Imagine when he was uh, as if he lived to be 100, huh? I can't even imagine what this world will be like without him. All right. We honor his memory, Laura. Thanks.